once again, my lovely subscribers, and today, sorry, um, we're going to be learning how to set up a TechIt server, the one with the new one with Collect the Craft and whatnot. So what you're going to do, first of all, is you're going to open up your browser. Then, after that, you're going to type in technicpack.net. Now, after this loads, you're going to go to Mod Packs and go to the tech kit that you were selecting. Right now, we're doing this for Hamachi. Then, you're going to scroll all the way down. And before, as I'm doing this, I'm going to tell you guys that I had to figure this out completely on my own uh, because no one else had it. I couldn't find it. Anyway, you're going to hit Download Tech Kit 106 Server. That'll pop up either right here, but I'll do it anyway pop up right here if you're using Chrome. If you're not using Chrome, you're going to uh, go to computer, scroll up, downloads, find it somewhere in here. Now, I'm not going to use this, so I'm just going to get rid of it real quick. But, never mind, I'll do that later. What you're going to do is now you're going to minimize out of this, but <clears throat> Let's say you're using Chrome, you're going to drag and drop it to your desktop like I did before, right here. Now, if you're using, um, like another browser, you're going to go to Downloads, drag and drop it from there, like I'll show you. going to drag and drop it, hold something like this, drop it right there. But, uh, yeah, so what we're going to do now is you're going to open this up, and you're going to minimize it. And then you're going to, sorry, you're going to open, you're going to make a new folder called, like that, and make it Tech It Server 2. So let's just get rid of this so you guys can see exactly, because I know you guys. So once you do the new folder, Tech It Server, I named mine too since I already have one, but Tech It Server. But we're just going to name it, say no, and we're going to make it Tech It now, you can name it whatever you guys want, but for right now, you're going to open up your tech server file, close out that, but you're going to need WinRAR first before you do this. But, um, to get WinRAR, you just open everything, type in WinRAR. I recommend WinRAR instead of 7-zip, but you can get either one. But you're going to go down here, look for your language, it'll say English over here if you're English, which I presume you are, or... American or British, whatever, whatever, whatever language you guys are, and you're gonna check or download which one of these ones. And the reason that you have to pick a certain one is because it has to go with your um, operating system or whatever. So 32-bit or 64-bit. Now, see if you have a 64-bit operating system, you're gonna open up this, right-click on that, go to properties, as you can see, system type, 64-bit operating system. If it's 32-bit, then uh. What you're gonna do is download 32 bit one, 64 bit, 64 bit one. You're gonna click that, download here, set it up, and after it's set up, you can open up these. And like I said before, let's close one of those. You're gonna hover over these, you're gonna copy them. Let's try this again. Or not copy them, I'm sorry, you can't do that when you're not right now. But you're gonna drag them into I'm sorry. This folder, tech it two. Or tech it, whatever one folder you want to call it. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to open that up, and right here, as you can see, normally you would just double-click the launch file, it would do everything for you. As you can see, it's not working, it doesn't know what to do. I had to code this myself, because I couldn't find anything else, but here we go. You would, on, in the description, I'm going to put this in there. Now, important factor that you're going to need to do is you're going to uh, check where your Java is, or Java now to do that you're going to open up a computer and if you have a 64 operating system it will be in program files x86 and we're just going to go find that yep right here java and that's where your minecraft java bin stuff is now uh... what you're going to do from here if you don't have it i'm pretty sure your java will either be in program files or be in another one called program files times with the parentheses like um something else and if that is the case you're going to uh when when you're opening this or you're going to edit it when you put it in and you're going to edit it to something like if you don't have it you're just going to take away this chunk right here and you're going to leave everything else 
Like, you're not going to take away this thing, because you're going to need that. Just take away that, and it'll put it to the slash. You'll be fine then. But if not, you're going to uh, just edit this part out to whatever it needs to be, like I just said. And that's it for right now. So what you would do is you would copy this, and you would paste it into um, into the launch file. Because the launch file is all messed up, and it won't work unless you do this. Now, if you have 2 gigs of RAM on your computer, I don't recommend doing one full gig because your computer might not be able to handle it, but we're going to go ahead and look at this real quick. Now, what I'm trying to say is that I have 4 gigs of RAM, so 1 gig is perfectly acceptable and it can run on that just fine. But... Besides that, if you're using like 2 gigs of RAM, the lowest you can go to run the server is this. 7, 6, 8. That is 3 quarters of a gig of RAM. And that's as far as you can go, but you would do it for both. So for whatever I'm doing, you go like this. That's what you would do. But I am going to change it back to this for 1 gig of RAM, because that's what I use. Now, if you want to use 2 gigs of RAM, you can go... Uh, like this, 248 for both of them, and so on and so on. You can just look up the um, things. Now, 2 gigs, I recommend 3 quarters of a gig of RAM. If you have 4 gigs, 1 gig or 1 gig and a half. And if you're dedicating it to it, then you can use 1 gig. Like if you just say you're using this computer only for running the server, then go ahead and make it 1 gig if you have 2 gigs. But if not, you're running it from the same computer, you're going to be playing on the same computer, I recommend using quarter of a gig. I mean, three quarters of a gig, I'm sorry. So, now that that's out of the way, you're going to copy this using copy, like that, or you can use control C, which means uh, this will work up for copying once you highlight it. You're going to minimize out of that, but actually not because you won't have this. You'll be taking it from the comments. But, um, yeah. What you're going to do now is you're going to right-click on launch. You're going to hit edit. And you're going to roll all the way over this, and you're going to paste it in there by either hitting Control V or right click and pasting. Now, this is what you're having, and this is what you need. Now, like I said before, make sure that you, when you edit it in here, that it's going to be your specific thing. Like, make sure you check, put the right program files, make sure you check your RAM by doing the same thing computer properties checking your RAM right here and putting in the right amount of RAM for you. You can look it up if you don't know, but like I said, I gave you a little thing. Two gigs, uh, recommend three quarters of a gig, um, four gigs or three gigs, one gig, and so on. So what you're going to do from here, file, save. You can exit out of this now and you would run the launch. Now once you run the launch, um, I'm almost sure that it would go to this and it will bring in all these new files. Now, I'm going to go ahead and run the launch anyway, just to make sure I'm doing exactly what you guys are doing. I'll see you guys in a little bit. After my launch is done, this is what it's going to pop up and start looking like. Now, um, I'll see you guys, like I just said, in a little bit. And, uh, what is it doing? Uh, yeah, this is, it'll start doing this. Just leave this open for now. And it takes a while, but uh, you'll get there, don't worry. Alrighty then, I am back. This is what's going to be happening. It'll, uh, it'll do this, and it'll go all the way down from all the way up here, and it'll extract all this. Now, in your file, it should look like this, and, uh, after that, we're going to go and see if this works. Yep, so it did work. Now, what you're going to do, like I was going to show you guys, you're going to sort up your tech kit and you're going to pick the new tech kit with the Galacticraft, the little like, space thing on it, with the symbol, and you're going to start up your tech kit. Now, what you could do as a host, this is my server right now, as you can see, it is up and it is doing pretty good. Now, you can either type in localhost, hit enter, and it'll connect you to the server. See, this is my server, randomly spawned. I'll just wait for everything to load in. I don't look at the sky for now. But, uh, yeah, it works perfectly fine for me. I'm running it on the same computer. My friends could join this right now. It's going to look laggy to you guys because I'm using Hypercam. But we're just going to disconnect for now. Now that has 
it is a tech server. It's not a normal Minecraft server. It's going to have everything tech it has. It's tech a server. Now, what your friends are going to have to do is they're going to have to download Hamachi, and I'm pretty sure you guys are doing this because you know you have Hamachi. Now, if you would have... Don't look at that, please. Jesus. You're going to set up a um, network by hitting create a network, and you're going to make a network name, password, and pe they're going to join through that. Now, once they join, they're going to see you like this. Their, their name's going to be like, this is my friend, I'm Shadow Sorcerer. But, uh, his name's Second Pig right here. You're going to right-click on their name, the guy who's um, hosting the server, and they're going to hit copy IPD4 address, like that. They're going to do that to Hamachi. P multiplayer. And you're going to, you know, tech it server. But, but what they would do is that they would either do add server or direct connect server, and... What they're going to actually do is uh, paste this into here. And yeah, so they're going to join the server through that way. But a thing I might have forgot to mention is that as you um, you should probably go back and do this if I think. Let me just check real quick. Nope, it should just be just fine. And. Since I'm connecting to it, it should work. But if your friends can't connect to you, I suggest going here, looking, and if like if they can't connect to you, which they should be able to, but if they can't, you uh, you would open up your Tekkit folder, go to the server thing, and if it doesn't work with anything, you right-click on it, open with, choose Notepad, because that's what you need to open it with, or any uh, other document, but I recommend Notepad because it's quicker. Uh, you're going to edit it like this. Edit, same thing you would do with launch. You're going to go to Amachi once more. You're going to right-click on your own thing. So what you would do is, crap, you would right-click up here, copy your own IPv4 address, and you would look for server IP. Now what you do, paste it in there file, save, and if they can't still can't join, then just restart the server whole. Like, uh, exit out, start it up again. Now, since I already have that done, I can get my friends to join, and all that. As you can see, I'm connecting through my IP right here. I'm sorry, I'm just going to do this one. I'm going to connect through my IP right here. And same thing, same world. It all works. I'm not sure there's any advantage for local host, but I'm almost sure that there is an advantage because you're logging in directly, which I think reduces the ping. But um, if anyway, there is gonna be an advantage ra to local host rather than the other one. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. There you go. You have your own Hamachi Tekkit server to uh, play with your friends. If you like the video, just like like hit the like button. Uh, comment, subscribe. Um, put it into your favorites, check out everybody else that's on our channel, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Toodaloo.